Okay, so yesterday and today, I have been working on doing some countertops. So this is going to be the first one. So I've got all the edging on. I've taped around the edges just because I don't if I don't want my bearing to maybe burn uh, my laminate. So I've got that. Uh, you'll notice that it looks kind of splotchy. Well, it's just drying. Okay, so places like this, they're pretty much dry. Um, you have to remember that with MDF, it is going to soak in some of that contact cement. So maybe put a little bit of extra on that first coat. Um, I've also coated my top. And so you can still see it glistens in some areas. But you know when it's dry, when you know when you can touch it and it's just kind of tacky, not really sticky, but just tacky, then it's in a good drying time. Um, I use a little six-inch roller for mine. Okay, uh, throw away roller, throw away pan. Sometimes I'll keep them, you know, if I'm doing a lot. So I do have one more countertop after this to make. So I'll hold on to it. Uh, once you add the contact cement to it, uh, just like this brush. Okay, I used it, oh, I don't know, about an hour ago. But, you know, when I add more stuff to it, um, it does actually loosen up. And so I'll just use it for my next one, too. Uh, now, this one here, this was out of a package of 25. And I bought them for about $17 off of Amazon. Uh, little cheap brushes, I could throw this away. Okay, so I'm looking at less than a dollar for my brush. Um, my roller part, I already had the, the handle for it. So it is worth it going to get uh, just the little rollers. They do a great job on this. Um, the other thing that I've got, okay, you'll notice here is I've got a whole bunch of little rod pieces made up. So I'm going to grab some of these. And then what will happen is these are going to go on top of here. Okay, we'll, I'll space them out. And um, when I put the top of my laminate on, it's going to sit on these. Then I will pull them out a little bit at a time. Okay, so like start maybe in the middle. Uh, pull it out. Then I'll put, I'll press my laminate down, give it a little bit roll, and then keep working out from the center out. Uh, sometimes if you work from the outside in, you can actually end up with sort of a bubble in the middle. And I want to try to avoid that because if I mess up getting the top on, then what happens is you pretty much have to start over. Trying to get this stuff off after it's stuck on is a real pain. Uh, you can do it, but sometimes, I don't, honestly, it's less time and less money to just start over. All right, well, I'll show you some more when I'm ready to put the top on, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I have two coats of contact cement on both the Arborite and on the um, the actual countertop itself. You'll notice that I have these uh, spreaders or these spacers on there. When I put my Arborite on, that's going to keep the Arborite from actually touching because as soon as it touches, it's going to be stuck. So I have to make sure I've got it all placed just correctly, and then I'll go from there. All right. Okay, so I've got the Arborite on top, and as you can see, there is those little spacers just underneath of there. So I'm going to get this glued down, and then we'll talk about uh, how you actually uh, get this on there, which is using a roller. All right. All right, so these are the tools I use to actually put this on with. So we've got a, um, a J roller and a hammer and a flat piece of wood. So what I end up doing is I take and uh, with lots and lots of pressure, I actually roll all the middle field of my uh, laminate down. Then what I do is uh, I need, you know, I try to be careful. So I take my piece of wood, I find where the edge of my countertop is, and it's actually going along while you hold your wood and doing this all the way along the edges. That fast. And so and as you do it, you're moving this along uh, to get that stuck. Because what I need to do is I need to take um, a router. So here's my router. And I need to go around everything and trim off all the excess. Now, I've put some blue tape. Okay, you can just kind of see it in there. Um, all the way around on the arborite edges. So what that tape does is, one, it protects 
my edges in case this bearing right here seizes up. If that seizes up, seizes up, it's just going to start to burn. And normally that happens when you get a lot of this stuff in there. Okay, so here I've got, uh, you know, there's a lot of just buildup of glue on there. So I usually take and I try and take it off. Um, afterwards, I'll clean it with a little bit of acetone just to get all the, re the remnants off. Now, you'll notice I was touching the bit, but at the same time, let me grab it up here real quick. It's unplugged. So, really, really important. If you're touching anything, saws, whatnot, you've got to unplug them, make sure you're safe. The other thing, of course, when using this is a good set of glasses. Okay, you don't want to get this stuff in your eyes. Um, you know, it's just being safe. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this off, and then we'll see what we have there. All right, well, as you can see, it's a messy process, okay, but um, did a really nice job, okay, and so what's going to happen, I'm going to take that blue tape off, and this is going to be hung out just a tiny little bit over, and then uh, we'll look at, we'll file all the edges on it. So for right now, I'm going to clean up some of this stuff. Um, I am also, though, going to go around once more with my hammer, okay, um, and this, and even my roller and I'm going to roll these edges down as hard as I can okay I want to make sure that everything is stuck down and I'm not going to have problems with it later on all right okay so my last video actually got cut off I'm going to have to try and put them together but I want to take a look here and I want you to see how if I do this my fingers are actually catching okay so what we do is we take a file okay, and we want to file off the edge, but what we want to do is we want to get it to where we're just at the other one. So this is one that actually takes uh, a lot of practice. Now, I haven't done Arbright for a long time, but as you can see here, I went just a little bit further than what I really wanted to. Um, it should be more like what's right down here at the bottom. Okay. Um, you will burn through a lot of times in a few places. It Sometimes it just can't be helped. Um, but if you take your time, you should be able to do it pretty much perfect. All right, I'm off. All right, so it's kind of hard to see, but along here, okay, um, the white, I don't think I can avoid it because that's the undercolor of the darker one. But what I'm looking for is, it's nice and smooth here, but here I can just tell that this stuff is just starting to peel away. Okay, so when I'm using my file, okay, I'm, I'm keeping at a bit of an angle, and I'm actually coming down across, okay? Um, I won't do this too much because I don't want to wreck things. But what you're looking for is when this, the contact cement that's under there just starts to sort of peel off, okay? And you can kind of sort of see that it comes off easy. And then what you have to do is just check with your thumbnail or fingernail. And so right here, it's good. But over here, on this, sorry, over here it's good. But over here, it's still catching my fingernail or my thumbnail. All right, so I'm going to do this, and then we'll show you a finished product. Okay, so I've got all my edges. They're all filed. Um, I took some acetone, and I cleaned off any glue that was around the edges or anywhere, uh, wiped it all down, and this is sort of that finished product. So I have one countertop done and so as you can tell I don't have a lot of room in my shop here and as you can tell I got a ton of tools um, you know I got everything that I need basically um, so I don't have a lot of room so I'll probably install this countertop probably tomorrow uh, in the afternoon and then 
make sure I've got all my measurements right for the next one and get the next one done. All right, have a very good night, guys, or afternoon, I should say.